Welcome back to JT West, guys. Thank you. It has been a minute since we've made a, a video, a, an outdoor video, so to speak, I guess. Uh, I've missed it, and uh, but, you know, we've had a lot of things going on. We rescheduled, if you watched the live, we rescheduled Plow Day for October the 26th. Uh, I think there's a couple of guys, Farmall 51 and uh, Matt with Farmall 51 and Farm Boy 59, not going to be able to make it on the 26th, but I think we're still going to have plenty of tractors, guys, and, and we'll have fun. Uh, you know, we we got some other guys that's still coming, and and uh, I think Brother Pat out of Virginia, or West Virginia, is still coming, so that's going to be good. We'll have a good time. We'll film. Uh, we'll eat hot dogs and fellowship, and just, uh, it'll be a good time. Um, I need to, I haven't changed oil. I changed oil early spring. I want to change oil in both of these tractors. I'm not going to do a, a how to how to change oil, but we will change your oil and we'll show you a little bit about it and what we're doing. And uh, me and Sammy, when we look at the cotton, um, in this video, you know, I'll do it over a couple of days, and so there's no telling what we're going to get into, to be honest with you. But uh, we want to look at the cotton. Me and Sammy's going to see if there's enough Jimmy Red corn for two two red bags or two white bags of corn here. Uh, these feed sack bags, I call them. Uh, we're going to see if there's enough corn to put put in them and bring that back. And we'll look at the cotton while we're up the road. And uh, maybe we'll look at the plow day field. Day's Thursday. Plow day would have been Saturday, two days from now. So we'll just look and see how wet it really is out there right now. And just kind of, uh, I'm sure, reinforce our decision to move it to the 26th. But, you know, it, it's... Yeah, and my, my 140 said it's tired of having that bush hog behind it. So I need to get what bush hog and I got done so we can get this thing unhooked and get it out from behind the 140 because, uh, you know, get ready for some plowing here. And, and hopefully our garlic seed's okay because we still haven't planted that. We're going to plant that. We'll probably have to refresh them rolls a little bit. I did see a little bit of green coming in on them. So we'll refresh them and uh, just looking forward to having fun with it and... Uh, Y'all come along with us. We'll go get some stuff. Oh, before I forget, don't let me forget this. So you guys may or may not know from the live stream, but I lost a dear friend of mine, Nikki Bowers, that uh, him and Allison does all the JT West hats and T-shirts and stuff and all the merchandise. And a lot, not just my channel, other channels too, Griggs Farms, Chronicles of Kayla, uh, Thomas Farms, um, I know I'm missing someone, Farm, Farm All 59, I mean, Farm Boy 59, Nelson uh, with IP Farms, so it does a lot of them. What I'm going to do, and I think Kelly at Griggs Farms is too, um, for the rest of the year, if you guys want to help them out, uh, buy a hat or a t-shirt, or, what, or a cup or something. And from now the rest of the year, I'm not taking any of that. That is all Allison. She don't pay me nothing. Whatever she makes off of it, that's great. It, it'd be for the help them out. So if y'all guys want to help them out, uh, look in the description of this video, and you'll see a link to Farm Merch Bin. And guys, you know I do not uh, hound y'all about buying hats and T-shirts. I figure if you want to buy one, you'll buy it. But if you want to help them out, buy a hat, buy a t-shirt, a cup or something. And all of it will go to them from now to the end of the year. Let's go look at some corn and cotton. Okay, guys, let's see. Woo, look at here, guys. Walking up to the cotton. Look at this ground. Yeah, she wasn't a dried up enough to plow, I don't think. You can see the rows here. The water. Well, where's all my cotton at? You can see the balls here. Oh, here's one over here trying to open up. Oh, here's one here. I'd say all this weather didn't do it no good. Which I don't know nothing about cotton, but. Oh, it's a cotton seed, Sammy. I think it is. Let me put my glasses on. 
Yeah, the cotton seed. Let's see what it looks like. Yeah, a little seed in there. So, I see a lot of them that acted like they wanted to open up, but they like they didn't fully pot out. Y'all explain that to me. I, I don't understand that. Here's another one. It opened up, but it didn't fully defoliate. Or ever how you say it? There's some right there. There's one. So it's like it. It didn't. I don't know. Maybe you're supposed to kill it back or something. I don't know. Hey, look, that one fell over. Yeah. So I don't know that. If this is what these are going to do, I don't know that this is going to do any good. We may end up cutting this. Maybe the last time y'all see the cotton, guys, because we may end up cutting it. If they're not going to bowl open, I don't understand why they didn't bowl open. Uh, you know, you still got green ones up here. here here's some more, see? I don't know. Not a cotton farmer couldn't tell you why it did that. But I kind of been driving down the road and looking out here from the road and kept thinking, well, man, when am I going to see little white balls out there? I guess that would uh, explain why. Yeah, guys, this is just totally, it is, uh, it is wet. I mean, it is wet, wet, wet. Like, see this one. It, it's wanting to open up, but it's rottening in the, basically rottening because it's not opening up. Seems like, seems like somebody said that they spray this stuff to get it to go ahead and open up. But if that's the case, what did they do back in the 1900s before they sprayed it? I mean, did they, I mean, I can't imagine they had some spray all the time. Yeah, it's rotting in the hole there. So yeah, we'll probably, when Sam cuts this field, there's one that didn't really open up. I mean, the cotton's there, but. Oh, it's wet. I don't know, maybe the rain did that. I, I, I have no idea. Interesting, very, very interesting of why it did that. So maybe when he cuts this field, looks like uh, next towards the end of next week is gonna have a good chance of cutting it. So maybe we'll just cut the cotton too and be, be done with it. I may put this on my hat. Be done with it and uh, we'll apply this little section too. Um, I don't see no need of leaving it out here if it's not going to cotton ball out because that defeats the purpose of the pictures. <laughs> so we'll see. We'll talk to Sam about it. Let's go look at some corn. Guys, I was just telling Sammy, Sammy wants to plant Jimmy Red for deer corn last year, next year. And I said, Sammy, look, look at your harvest. Your harvest has been eat up. I mean, look at that. I mean, they just got on that and just eat that up. The deer did. And I don't know. I don't know. It may have been better a couple of weeks ago. Ow. This one's got a little mold on it. It still may be okay. And dry out. It's got a little mold right in there. Probably be okay. Let it dry out. We'll get us uh It ain't gonna be a lot out here, because you can see coon or deer. I mean, they just eat it up. It'll be good for seed. So we're gonna walk out through here and see if we can find us some. 
I just, I, you know, we can beat the crows, but you look in here and uh, the deer get in here like, I mean, you can just look out through there at every stalk that had some corn on it. They've, uh, they've just slapped, eat them up. We will, no, I think I'll change it all in the Super A today. And we'll wait till next week on the 140 because I don't have no more jugs left to dump my oil in. I'm gonna see if I can get Will to take some off Saturday to uh, Yanceville. Uh, I tell you, trying to lose a little weight, eating low carb stuff, and you just don't realize sometimes how a simple, nice, ice cold Coca-Cola makes you feel good. We, we put sometimes, uh, you know, something like it. I, I've been missing one. I've been doing this diet now about two weeks. And I mean, it drops weight for sure, but I miss, miss my Coca-Colas. change your oil we need to let it run a little bit Purrs like a kid. it does run good it runs excellent okay Sammy go look at the spoil that we got this was this was uh, from the garden out here at the house it needs to sit in here and dry there was some wet but I think that got every bit of my seed back. Uh, we'll go through and fine tune it. We'll probably knock the butts off, knock the front off and grab just this middle part here. But that got my seed back that I used from uh, this year planting it twice, I believe. And uh, we'll just go from there. But Sammy wants to change the oil in the tractor. So he's gonna go in there and get a mic and I'm gonna film him change it all. Most of it, not all of it, just some of it. I'm gonna let you know the secret. It's not a comfortable way to do it. Get down on the ground, get where you can see that thing. Uh, I can see it. You can't do everything from a seated position. Oh, well, I'm not sitting on that anyway. That thing hurts to try to sit on. Hurts? Yeah. I sit on that thing a hundred million times, boy. Well, the way I was sitting on it. God. I tried to do the thing where you told me to push up and yeah. unscrew, but I couldn't remit. I couldn't get it. You just regular dropped it. No, I got it in my hand. Oh, you left, you left me a rag. And I kind of wrap your thing in the rag on one side of it. And now clean your hand with the rag too while leaving that in the rag there's some mess inside of the bolt you know that little dip mm-hmm we'll need to clean that out we put it back here look at it all that sludge that's not as bad as it was the first oh, oil yeah, change nah. the first oil change we dug it slap out it was dry the first oil change. no it wasn't it was full it was level across the top all right, hold on. Turn your wrench around. Uh -oh. take, take your wrench, there you go. Now come stand up so you can get a better angle on it. You need to come straight up. Put your arm over that bar, over the steering rod. You're up under it, there you go. Now stand straight up 
Now pull straight up on it. There you go. It's all about position. You want to get a good position, especially if you can get a good position. Now, sometimes you can't. I mean, you just can't get a good position on it. But good positions will keep you from stripping bolts and breaking things and pull your pan over to where that drip is on the left edge of that pan. Now pull it back to you a little bit because you want to line it up under that, what you're doing there. There you go. Now, unscrew that out. There you go, Sammy. So this one I noticed the last time we changed the oil that it's kind of hard to get past this one spot on the cap. I can switch this over to a f spin on filter. Cost about $175, 200 or something. That's loose. So we want to come straight up that bolt into the top of the thing there. And we'll make us a nice clean surface to set it on. And we'll take this and just kind of do it like that. Take them both at the same time. So. Okay. And believe it or not, Wicks 51, 172. You know, good clean oil filter. Believe it or not, guys, we're going to probably wind up using. Probably going to wind up using this same O ring. Because I discovered on the 300 that the Wicks. Y'all need to be careful with this. The Wicks 51, 172 filter. The O-ring's bigger. The Napa, which Wix makes, and I think its number is 51172 or something. I think it's the same number. Um, it's O-ring fits. We'll put the new O-ring down on here and see what it looks like, but I need to soak up a little bit of this oil here. And this O-ring is not but six months old, guys. So let's go get that new filter. And I told Sammy I, I wanted him to pay attention to how I did this one real quick before we jumped on one. So 51172. Matter of fact, I have the Napa right here, guys. The Napa for that tractor is 1172. Um, and I'm pretty sure Wix makes it, but it's 1172 and 5172. But we'll look at that O ring. But I'm about sure this this is called a this is called a tractor shed post-it note. That's how we that's how post-it notes got started. They got started in the tractor shed. Now we'll use this old uh, O ring if it looks like it's the right size. Okay, now that one is the right size. Now I'm tempted not to use it, but it is the right size. Guys, I don't know if I mentioned this in another video. I may have already. Sammy, tell me if I have. Have I said anything about the grease gun? Yes. I did? Yes. I thought I'd never, sorry, I couldn't remember if I mentioned it, but that grease gun puts grease in fittings that would not want to take grease before. Get that out where it is still reusable because you never know when you need an extra one of those. Well, I'm telling you guys, she did not, she did not want to fit in the 300. Because if you'll remember right, we reused the one for the 300. Okay, that's fine there. So... Let's put this together. All right, filter's on with a new O-ring, guys. Well, I'll be honest with you, I was very tempted to use that old O-ring. So what I'm using, guys, 40 weight. Now, I know, I know you guys are thinking, 
uh, should be, you know, you know you're gonna at least have four quarts. Oh, okay, I thought you were wanting me to use a three quarter. The reason why I'm doing that, guys, is because I did put bearings in this thing, rod and mains, and the oil pressure still gets a little low, which it's probably, is that the top one? Yeah. All right, let that all drain in there. And then we'll take the other one slow, a little bit at a time. Get my money's worth. Okay, we got some oil changed and uh, I'm not sure what I'll do tomorrow. I need to probably run up there and mow a little bit at the plow day field. I told Sammy, and I may have said it on video, I may not have, but I said, man, I'm gonna have to bush hog the whole parking lot again, but we'll be happy to do it, providing that it dries up enough to have a good plow day. So we'll be happy to do that. So I'll check back in tomorrow. Welcome back, guys. We are into something here. Uh, I have a, a subscriber and I'd say a friend coming by and going to get this board here and re, redo that, remake that seat for me. So that way we have a, a remade seat. And so I look forward to that. He'll be buying a little bit. Um, also got a motor church tomorrow, but I may put I may put a little bit of that on this video. Yeah, I think I will. I was gonna put it on the next one, but the next one we'll probably be doing some uh, different things. But this is a obviously a little baby stroller that um, I had redone up when Will and Ellie was a baby. The neat little booger. But I had redone it up when Will and Ella was a baby. And we're going to try to redo it up again for Will's baby. Get him to re pretty up that handle right there. And now, just a couple more screws over here. And All right, we got it. And we'll get us a new seat made. Clean up all those metal pieces that you guys seen. Y'all let me know what color you think this thing should be. Should we go with a an IH scheme or or a, a neutral scheme like you know for a boy and a girl? Let let us know what you think and uh I don't know. Well like I said I, I'm all I need a well to hitch. Uh we got a hitch for the three hundred. I think y'all like it. But uh we'll get that to Joey. And he's going to get that fixed up for me and go from there. Saturday morning, guys. Uh, I was going to film a little more yesterday evening, but had a guest come by, a subscriber, Joey. And uh, he brought a few things. He's going to fix something for us. Uh, the baby stroller seat, I may have mentioned that yesterday. I don't remember. It's been a few hours. I go to bed. I forget things, guys. Um, we want to try to weld this receiver on here today. But this needs to be straightened. It's not going up in the hitch of that tractor too good. Uh, but we'll figure that out later on after we mow because we got the mower lower, loaded up and ready to go. And so we look forward to going mowing that. I'm, mine needs to be mowed bad now, real bad. But I'm waiting because it is still wet down in that bottom. Today would have been plow day. I hate that. It's a beautiful day for plow day. My goodness, it would have been a beautiful day. But... We may have us a beautiful day to 26. Um, I was watching some YouTube videos of the mountains, and my goodness, guys, those, uh, I find myself, when I'm just drinking a Coca-Cola, 
that you know, I think about them in the mountains, and I, 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 I trust they're getting plenty of supplies. I see a lot of stuff going up the road. We're going to, there's a animal hospital here in Prospect Hill that's taking donations to take stuff up there, and hopefully they've connected with the right folks. I was watching Andy and Megan the other day. They had took some stuff up there, and they were lucky to find a place to take it. And so that's the thing is I think there's so many donations coming in right now. Uh, it's hard to get it to some of the right spots, but hopefully these folks do. We'll, we'll give them something and uh, not only food, but obviously they need our prayers. That's super important. Probably the most important thing is the prayers. Um, Andy was saying the other day that it's it's a long time getting back, and, and uh, I know they're going to be, you know, flooded with stuff now, but hopefully there'll be folks still taking up donations, you know, weeks from now, months from now, six months from now. I mean, they're going to need quite a bit to get back on their feet, so I, I hope everybody still has that giving spirit then. Um, I never, I didn't go to Asheville much. I did have a a work project up there that we worked on and and I can't imagine that was a pretty it felt like a big city to me I had to kind of drive through it to get to the hotel that we were wearing up and uh I can't remember if I went to Chim Chimney Rock much but uh mostly where I transverse up there is around Fontana Dam Robbinsville um some in Cherokee so uh but you know we obviously have drove up 40 there black mountain i never went into that little black mountain town but uh man from what i seen the creek just carved out a new path altogether, and uh I, it's just no it's just hard for me to imagine the amount of water that must have come out of the skies to flood that hard and uh i just can't imagine how much water dumped out it, it just must have been tremendous but uh I, I hate it just like you guys do for all of them and and hope and pray they bounce back and but the good thing is uh the folks is helping them and that's what i like man i like it i like seeing the folks help them and just you know some good old fellas up there and ladies and teenagers and kids and they're all pitching in and i you know i i really i really like it um that that means a lot I ain't gonna say too much about the federal response. I, it ain't. You guys, y'all, y'all know, y'all can see it. That absolutely ridiculous. But anyway, uh, they'll be okay. We'll we'll help them out and get them going. And uh, and thank you for anybody out there that's volunteered to help them and has helped them. That is wonderful. But we're gonna go mow a little. Come back, fix that. And uh, hopefully next week get into some more planning and getting maybe maybe Sam will be able to cut that plow day field next week. I still think it'll be the latter part of next week before he's able to cut it. So hopefully we can do that. We may try to plant a little bit of garlic. I may hold off a little bit longer. I may hold off towards the end of October. Uh, but I got some rye myself I want to plant. So we got to do that too. We'll see you in a little bit.
down and don't push on it so hard before it's pulling the motor down. Hey. Go put a bigger bend in that. Pull the line. Make a bigger bend. Make a bigger bend with it. Yeah, now make a bigger bend. Okay, Sammy. Yeah, out here, boy. I used to wear a pipe for a living. Yeah. See that? All right, so we mowed today. We stopped and helped Sam put up a, a sign for his wedding venue. We got the hitch on. Now, I'm gonna tell you guys, we ended up cutting this prong completely off. Sammy's got a little bit of dressing up to do on it. We cut the prong completely off. I welded the re-sitch on it because I want to be able to put stuff on it. Um, I think that's about all we're going to do. Oh, I welded a nut on the arm adjuster so I could adjust that arm up and down with a 15 16 socket or my impact wrench, whichever one I want to do. No more than I'm going to do it. I don't have to really worry about it. We couldn't get this hitch to slide in there at all. Zero. And just finally wound up cutting it, twisting a little bit, and letting it rest in its position that it wanted to be in and then re-welding it. And so I think we'll be fine with that. Uh, it'll work out good. Uh, I think that's about it. Appreciate y'all sticking around. We're gonna plant, uh, Sam's gonna try to plow the plow day field soon. We'll hopefully plant some stuff and we'll see you next week. God bless you. Did we wanna say hey to Roger? Roger? Say hey to everybody. Roger's back, good to go. He's, uh, I think he's, I, I, ain't good to go yet. I think he could have helped me more today, but he, he left his arm in the swing so he wouldn't have to help me. That's what it was. But uh, now nah, I'm just picking. All right, God bless you. God loves you. We'll see you.